All right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about C.T. Fletcher. Um, just got done watching a movie uh, put out by Vlad Uden. Uh, kind of a popper guy on YouTube. He's made some documentaries slash movies. Uh, I think he's got one coming out uh, with Kai Green as well. I'm looking forward to seeing. But uh, the C.T. Fletcher, My Magnificent Obsession. Watched it on Netflix. Um, been on there a little while maybe maybe it's new i don't know but it was two, 2015 it came out but um it's kind of a documentary uh, about ct fletcher's life and uh you know it's pretty pretty interesting uh documentary i, I enjoyed it um showed a little more depth uh, of this guy you know he's not just the guy running around dropping f-bombs in the gym uh, trying to motivate people um goes back talks about a lot of his life his childhood in particular uh, about his relationship with his father how much he valued his, valued his mother in his life I thought that was pretty cool um, it was good to see a guy you know with this hard image uh, appreciating his mother uh, like that you know and and, and it, it really went in depth about how he felt about his father and uh, had a lot of you know big names in there. Uh, Steve Austin was in there. Stone Cold Goldberg was in it. Um, it was a pretty cool documentary. Um, I give it a pretty high rating. Um, of course, we all know uh, most of us who C.T. Fletcher is. Uh, he was a, a weightlifter uh, slash bodybuilder. Uh, been around for a while. I think he's uh, 56, 57 now. Um, held a couple, three records six records maybe something like that but uh strict curl he might have had some bench records i think as well for a while uh there's a great pick of him before on the left side there he's a big big dude i don't think he's all that tall uh, but he was big and thick you know we've all seen his youtube videos uh here he is with cali muscle uh, and he runs around the gym uh entertaining guy i mean whether or not you're into the you know all the f bombs and stuff it doesn't offend me, but it might offend some people. But it gets the views, man. I think he's got upwards of a million followers on YouTube subscribers. Uh, you know, all around big dude back in the day. Uh, just a giant dude um, for his height, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, you know, he ran into some heart problems. Uh, this is pretty funny. Um, I want to say he ate. See if I can find this. Uh, his meals consisted of six Big Macs, like twice a day. Uh, and then he had shakes and apple pies and things like that. I was reading an article on him. Yeah, three. Here he is, uh, three-time world strict curl champ, three-time strict curl world record holder. Uh, it's five eleven. Uh, 256 this is an old article a few years old but uh, this is kind of when he hit the big time off uh, here it is uh, lunch was the same meal for 20 years four Big Macs four fries two shakes four apple pies and I think he did that if I heard correctly twice a day uh, he was just shoveling in now one of the things that I don't believe he says he's drug free he always has been uh, I'd be surprised if that were true. I know if you eat that much, you're going to get big. But then again, he could be a genetic freak, but that's highly unlikely at this point uh, in particular. Uh, you know, he's not as strong as he was back in the day. But, you know, still, I mean, when you see him in the current videos, you know, he's working arms a lot, uh, that kind of thing. But pretty interesting guy nonetheless. Um, I enjoy his videos. Um, when he had his, and of course he had his heart attack, um, and uh, he died three times, uh, 2005, I guess he died three times, he flatlined on the table, um, lost 50 pounds, and then also when it, you know, when it goes into the, uh, the movie, talks about, uh, you know, how he overcame that, uh, he couldn't do anything for, for many, many weeks, and, uh, he just kind of willed himself back and uh, you know he went he lost everything he had um, and built himself up it's a pretty interesting movie I highly recommend it uh, hopefully he's around for a long time um, 
you know his I didn't know this but he is he is a mechanical valve in his heart so that's pretty crazy stuff um, you can hear it clicking sometimes so <laughs> yeah man that's pretty scary stuff um, to probably have to live with but I just want to make a little video on it uh, um, that actual movie is pretty interesting if you haven't seen it I recommend it uh, it's pretty good talks about life you know and what we need to go through sometimes to get where we want to be